alarming. These are the sentiments expressed by Prime Minister Philippe J. Pierre as St. Lucia witnesses an uptick in homicides. Four murders have been committed in the first three weeks of 2024. Pierre, speaking to journalists during the weekly briefing room interviews ahead of the cabinet meeting, says he takes no solace in statistics that showed a decline in violence in the latter part of last year. No comfort. I take no comfort for that. I'm stating a statistical fact that in the second half of 2023, the homicide rate decreased when compared to the first half. The measures that we put in place, these measures are going to be strengthened this year. Hopefully, we can continue that downward trend that was seen in the second half of 2023. But it's not good enough. It ought to be better. But I would thank the police for, for the efforts. The National Security Minister pledges to combat St. Lucia's rising crime rates by injecting additional resources into the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, funded in part by the 2023 Health and Security Levy. My job is to create the policy, to create the advice, and to make the resources available. And this is why we've been using the Health and Security levy to make these resources available to the police. Well, I'm sure that you know now the dates for our budget presentation and the dates for our estimates presentation. During these presentations, particularly the policy statement, you will hear the resources that we have made available to the police the resources, and we intend to increase that. Prime Minister Pierre confirmed the government is actively exploring the possibility of reinstating a K-9 unit following Commissioner of Police Crucita Descartes Pelius's recent plea. The Commissioner has asked for a, a K-9 unit. We're going to have these discussions and I will tell her the resources that are available if they become available and for the details on training and the logistics that will be up to her. Crime statistics released by the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, RSLPF, on January 4, 2024, show that 49% of the 75 homicides recorded in 2023 were gang-related. The Southern Division registered the highest rate of homicides at 28.4%, with Viewfort accounting for the largest share of murders per community at 21.3%. For the end of this year, training is happening. The training will start shortly. Right now, the recruitment process is on the way. That's going to happen. So I'm, I'm going to show you, we had the RSS in St. Lucia fighting three or three tours of duty. The money, that, that, costs, that costs money. These things, the health and security levy helped in that regard. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre also expressed gratitude to non-governmental organizations and civic groups that have joined the fight against crime by launching various programs aimed at tackling the root causes of crime, violence, and gang initiation. Solash Alfred, HDS News Force.